The NFL offseason is here, and it's one of my favorite times of the year. And I'm curious, what do you like more as a fan? Is it free agency? Is it the NFL draft? Let me know what you think down below. The New York Giants are going to be picking number six overall in the 2024 NFL Draft following the NFL season. So in today's video, I went and looked at Mel Kuyper's most recent updated big board. And I'm going to choose the six players off that big board that I would like for the Giants to draft. Because if they draft any of these six players, I will give them an A-plus grade. You only need to love six guys. Joe Shane, when he had pick number five and pick number seven, when he picked Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal, said he went into draft night loving seven players. And he knew no matter what happened, he was going to get one of those seven guys. So we're going to do the same thing today. The Giants need to love six players. I'm going to show you my top six guys that I think the Giants should be looking at. Number one on my big board is Caleb Williams. And number one on uh, Mel Kuyper's big board, obviously, is Caleb Williams as well. I think he's a superstar quarterback in the making. I think wherever he goes, you're going to have a franchise guy, no doubt about it. Do I have a little bit of off-the-field concerns? Yeah, but I have that with almost every single 19, 20-year-old kid that's already made millions in their life. But when you talk about talent, when you talk about what he could do for a franchise if he hits, he's going to take you from number one, number two in the draft to maybe number 32 in a couple of years. Why are we even talking about Caleb Williams? Marshall, there's no way we can get him. Well, the Giants have the draft ammunition to move up if they need to. Pick number six, pick number 39, pick number 47, and pick number 70. So if the Giants identify Caleb Williams as a franchise-changing quarterback, you can easily trade up. You may have to give up a player you don't want to. We've got to trade around the corner. But I want to go to what Jordan Renan had to say on the Michael K show just last week. This team is not going to shy away from taking a quarterback if the opportunity arises for a guy that they really like. If the Bears and Cardinals are the two teams picking at one and two, and one of the two and one or two are looking to trade their picks, I don't think it's out of the question that the Giants will look to move up. So, Jordan or not, works for ESPN, a beat reporter, said it's not out of the question for the Giants to move up. Well, CBS Sports, they did a mock draft just this week. And they had a mock trade that the Giants would have to make to move up to number one. You'd give up your first round pick this year. You'd give up your second round pick, pick 39. You'd give up pick number 105, a fourth rounder, and a first rounder in 2025, a third rounder in 2025, and Darius Slayton. Would you make this trade? Would you trade all of that to get up to number one and draft either Caleb Williams or Drake May? You would still have a second round pick this year. You would still have your third round pick this year. But you would not have a first or a third next year. Type A for accept. Type D for decline. I'm curious, would you make this deal? This is an easy accept. This is an easy, easy accept. You still have a second round pick this year. You still have a third round pick this year where you can go and get a playmaker and where you can go and get some offensive line help or hell, draft two offensive linemen. I think Caleb Williams is going to be legit in this league. I think he's going to compete for MVPs and for Lombardi trophies. And he can take the Giants to the next level. I would trade up. And honestly, if the team pick is picking second offered me that same haul for Drake, may I do it? I would do it. Because I believe in the philosophy. If you think a quarterback is a franchise guy and he can win a Super Bowl, you do whatever it takes to go and get them. And I believe that with Caleb Williams, and I believe that with Drake May. If there is a trade on the table where the Giants just absolutely are not giving up the farm, like this trade idea that CBS wrote, not me, that's their right, that's theirs, I would do it. Are the Giants a quarterback away from competing? No. But they are a quarterback away from competing, if you know what I mean, because they didn't compete much this year. Number three on my big board is Marvin Harrison Jr., um, I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to walk into the National Football League and be a top 15, top 20 receiver. I said in the last video we talked about him, uh, he reminded me of A.J. Green and said someone said that was disrespectful. A.J. Green's going to the Hall of Fame. A.J. Green was one of the best receivers in the NFL. 
NFL history. And this guy reminds me of him. Six foot four, a little slender, multiple spots on the field. He can operate out of slot outside. He can run deep routes. He can run intermediate routes. He's a tactician. If somehow he falls to number six, yeah, he looked pretty good wearing the big blue. Coming up next, I'm going to dissect the idea if the Giants should draft Jaden Daniels. Let's say they stick at six, and Caleb Williams goes one, and Drake May goes two, and Marvin Harrison is gone. And draft, and Jane Daniels is on the clock at six. Should Joe Shane pull the trigger? I'll break that down in a second. But I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Factor. Go to factormeals.com slash GiantsChat50. Use the promo code GiantsChat50 and get 50% off. The new year is here, and you should start it by giving Factor Meals a try. Factor makes, has fresh, never frozen meals that take just two minutes in the microwave to heat up. They taste awesome, and they also will keep you on track with your fitness goals and you say 50% off with promo code GIANTSCHAT50. If you've tried the whole meal prepping thing, you've tried the whole going to the grocery store thing and being responsible, and it didn't work out, you can be responsible by getting hooked up with Factor. Factormeals.com slash GIANTSCHAT50. Promo code GIANTSCHAT50 down in the comment section is the link. It's clickable. Go and check it out. Number four on my big board is Jaden Daniels. So by that logic... Yes, I would select him at number six if he was on the board when the Giants were on the clock. I think he's an unreal talent. Do I have a little concern that he's a little light in the pants? Yeah, I don't love that he's six foot four and maybe 210 pounds. That's program weight, and we know what they do with that. I bet he comes in closer to 6'3", 205 pounds, or maybe he is 210, 215, but it's a lot of water weight. What I think he can be in a Brian Dable system is an MVP of this league. Brian Dable took a very similar prospect in Josh Allen and made him one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, maybe the best player in the NFL. I also love that Jaden Daniels has gotten better and better every year of his career. He started in college football for five seasons. He upped his completion percentage, almost 5% in year one and year two to LSU. Threw for almost 4,000 yards this year. Only threw seven interceptions in the last two years. And he's also an electric player with the ball in his hands. Over 1,000 yards this year, 10 touchdowns, 10 touchdowns last year. It's the growth. It's the progression. And it's the talent that I think Josh Allen has. Um, I don't think he's the power runner that Josh Allen is. That's not even close. But the dual threat ability in a Dable offense where they like to throw the ball deep, I think Daniels makes a whole lot of sense. If he's on the clock at number six, and you got to make the call for this organization, would you draft Jaden Daniels? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What do you think? Type D for draft. Type P for pass. I'm curious what the real ones say. At five and six, I've got the two tackles, and they come in the order of Joe Alt and Olu Fashanu. One of these six football players needs to be a member of this organization, and they would be very, very lucky if they ever, Giants, got their hands on any of these guys. It's time. It's off season three. Off-season one problems are still here, and that's the offensive line. It's time to fix it. Invest in it. Do it. Get it done. If all those guys are gone and you got Alt or Fashanu on the board, take them because they fix a problem, and they fill a very, very big need. I have Joe Alt above Olu Fashanu. I like the pedigree. I think he is more consistent. I think he's more pro-ready. Whereas Fashanu may have the higher ceiling, but he's still learning the game. Only started playing football full-time in high school, but he is an amazing, amazing athlete. I'll take the guy that's already done it for three years at Notre Dame. Give me Joe Walt over Olu Fashanu, but if he's there at six and he's the only one of those guys on the, on the screen that's on the board left, I'd take him. I'd take him because you got to get this O-line right. If you don't, Joe Shane, you might be fired after this season. Because I don't think that John Mayer is going to go through another year where you allow a quarterback to be sacked almost 100 times. Not one quarterback. That's wrong. Because the O-line got the quarterbacks hurt. Three quarterbacks. Three. Who do you want the Giants to draft? For me, it's one of those six guys. I like Malik Neighbors. I like Brock Bowers. I like Roma Dunze. They're not a top six pick for me. That's just my opinion. What's yours? Give me a guy you want to see wearing big blue on draft night. As always, you can follow me over on Twitter at MarshallGreen underscore. I'm tweeting about the Giants all day, every day. I'm trying to grow my following over there. So give me a follow. And if you send me a DM saying top six, I'll give you a follow back. 